The family name of Fleming has orbited royal circles since the days of Mary, Queen of Scots. From a very early age, Ian Fleming was well connected with the royal political elite. Before he joined the Navy, he actually worked at a merchant bank. Interestingly, Ian Fleming is not the only merchant banker who eventually joined the intelligence services. Lord Baron Rothschild, he also ran a bank and he also had close ties with Her Majesty's intelligence services. All present-day spies owe their career and their license to kill to a doctor, a mathematician, an astrologer and a magician, Dr. John Dee. In the 1500s, it was Dr. John Dee who was recruited into the ranks by Sir Walsingham and he, in actual fact, became, if you like, the first James Bond. He became the first intelligence agent. He drew up astrological charts to find the most auspicious date for the coronation of Queen Elizabeth I and Dr. John Dee's paraphernalia, his spiritual paraphernalia, can still be seen at the British Museum and the Science Museum to this day. Why was Dr. John Dee recruited as a spy in the 1500s? Well, anybody that has actually used a Ouija board will realize that some spirits know all things past, present and future. And Dr. John Dee, through his journals, his magical journals, which are, are still around to this day and can be seen at the British Museum, he used to consult a crystal ball. And he used to use what we now term remote viewing to actually find out interesting information from the spirit world. And this is really how Her Majesty's Intelligence Services started. They are deeply rooted in the occult. John Dee maintained a very large library of occult books at his house in Mortlake in West London. And it was John Dee who set up the first international spy network with Sir Walsingham and other aristocrats who had mostly been educated at Trinity College in Cambridge. This was the absolute genesis of Her Majesty's Intelligence Services. The so-called all-seeing eye logo has been used traditionally by royal families in Britain and Russia. In actual fact, before it was named the KGB, the Russian intelligence service was called OGPU, which is the actual original name of the all-seeing eye logo, which was adopted by Adam Weishaupt in the 1700s as the logo for the Bavarian Illuminati. It was the crystal ball the tool used by Romani gypsies and spiritualists throughout history, which was the main tool used by Dr. John Dee and his aristocratic espionage friends. They divined information from the spirit world. Perhaps this is why Ian Fleming named his Caribbean estate Golden Eye. Ian Fleming studied the works of Dr. John Dee and many other occultists. He was very, very much interested in the so-called all-seeing eye logo, which was used by the Bavarian Illuminati and also used by MI5. 
I believe that Ian Fleming knew all about the so-called all-seeing eye. It's the logo of the Bavarian Illuminati, and it's the logo of Her Majesty's Military Intelligence Branch Number 5, MI5. The all-seeing eye is one of those emblems which is a common thread through the satanic cults and various Masonic groups which we see around the world. It was at his private estate in the Caribbean called Goldeneye that Ian Fleming wrote many of his most famous spy novels, drawing information from his own journals, and his own diaries, and the diaries of his fellow spies. It was there that the most famous spy novels of all time, the James Bond books, were written by Mr. Fleming. <laughs> The MI in MI5 and MI6 stands for military intelligence, which some people claim is a contradiction in terms. These services have been serving the Crown for many, many decades. And this is a very important point. When you join the ranks of Her Majesty's intelligence services, you are serving the Crown. You are not serving the people. The history of the intelligence services, which we can glean from various memoirs and books which have been published by former members, shows very clearly that the intelligence services are spying on me and you. They are services which break into people's homes, steal documents, do the kinds of things which uh, is not really cricket for the police to get involved with and their primary concern is looking at people who could possibly challenge the authority of the royal political elite. Thousands of years ago, astrology and astronomy were one holistic science. The International School of Esoteric Sciences is the only college offering university-grade lectures which bring astronomy and astrology back in harmony. We will send you a free iBook about astrology in the ancient world and details of our expeditions to Greece, Mexico, Egypt and many other ancient sites. If you want to learn astrology, if you want to learn astronomy, learn from the best. IsisCollege.com